can you, man? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look good, man. You uh, looks like you're growing your hair out again. Yeah, trying. It's kind of at the mushroom cloud stage at the minute, but I'm sure I'll get past that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's I all a matter of time. Get a bit of soap in there, man. You know what I mean? Just to calm me down a bit, yeah. like the old days. Yeah. Hey, man. I still do it. <laughs> yeah. I think I've got it's imperial. Done, I got imperial Fuck. leather in my hair right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice shirt, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we did some gigs with them in Japan too before last. It was great. You know, it's one. It's definitely one of my favorite Japanese bands. Uh, yeah, man. You know, and there's out of a very distinguished, you know, group yeah. bunch of bands. You know. So. Well, yeah. I mean, you you've mentioned before that Japan's kind of your second home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I almost moved there at one point. You know. Um, yeah, I think I've heard you mention that before. Yeah, and I, I. Um, um, Konami, my ex, um, we were together for like five, six years or something like that. Sure. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it was great. It was like a double bubble for me, really, you know, spending lots of time over there and going to see gigs that I really wanted to see, you know. Yeah, man, there's there's a lot of people that would give their eye teeth to experience yeah. that, you know. Yeah, I saw some really good stuff, you know, like yeah, fuck yeah. Burning Spirit stuff and other associated things, yeah. you know, it was pretty cool, man. Yeah, so I'm sure you've seen Death Side and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They play pretty much every week, you know. Yeah, no kidding, man. Um, the best, one of the best ones I saw was actually, it was Gauze and um, and uh, Crudos. Crudos went over there for two gigs, and I just really? was so lucky. I just arrived, I think, the day before or something like that, and I didn't even know about it, yeah. you know. Crudos so, live is insane, man. Like I've seen, oh, I've nice. seen Crudos play like nice. numerous times, man. And it's, it's like some of the most fucking intense hardcore live. And then Martin, oh, yeah. like how he kind of discusses like between songs and he gets a crowd riled up. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. superb, man. It's good, good hardcore. Yeah. You know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Just bright neck, breathless stuff. Yeah. And he's, he's such a great guy, man. Martin Absolutely, is such a nice guy, man. On top of everything else, yeah. We had a um, I don't know if you're familiar with the Minneapolis area. We have a record store here uh, called Extreme Noise, and you know they they deal with well extreme music, um, but they usually have an yeah, anniversary yeah. show like every five years or something. We had Crudos come up here. Um, I don't know, it was a handful of years ago, and it was an outdoor open open air event, and it was just absolutely berserk. It was awesome. Oh yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, they're great, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, I just, you know, I, I guess we could just start, you know, there's, yeah, there's, sure. really, there's really no script to this. Um, yeah, I, just sure. kinda, I just kind of wanted to chat. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting to me because um, I don't, I, I know, I, I, I don't really consider myself like a metal guy. I don't really consider myself a grind guy. Like yeah. there are, there are little aspects of those communities that I absolutely adore, you know, like mm -hmm. old school grind, you know, obviously napalm, you know, little yeah. pockets of the DIY, like ass suck and stuff like that, Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but, um, I, one of the things I think I wanted to kind of discuss with you and I mean, we, you know, it's a loosey goosey conversation here, so it doesn't matter what direction it takes, but I think like you and napalm death, um, you kind of, uh, I, I don't know, you, like the philosophies behind what you guys do, I think kind of mean a lot, especially to like the underground community, if that makes any sense, mm -hmm. because yeah. there is such a hard value system and ethos to kind of the punk culture itself. Yeah. And when I go to a Napalm Death so show, like I, I hear you talk sometimes and I'm like, hey, that sounds like what a punk band would say. You know, yeah. so I, I'm always interested in to hear your insight and kind of how you take that sure. to the stage and, and not even to the stage, but you as your daily life, you know? Like, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, you know, the thing is, is, is that I hate those little like pigeonholes, you know, I, I, I can't stand it. Pigeonhole. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, to be honest, I, it's, it feels really weird kind of talking about yourself in this way a little bit, but I mean, I, I don't really consider myself a metal guy. I, yeah. I never really did, you know. Yeah, of course I was into metal. I still love some metal, though, not all, you know. It sure. takes a lot for me to be into metal bands these days. It's mm -hmm. got to give me something special, you know. But um, yeah. but, but, um, but I also consider on the other side, 
what what is it actually to be punk? I think it's almost not definable in a lot of senses. Yeah, you know, so it loses its sorry, purpose if you do define it. Yeah, exactly. Degree, so whatever yeah. I say, whatever I do, yeah. it, my simple philosophy, I guess, is if you think it, fucking say it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, you. So, sorry, it's not it's not me making this, um, drawing this conclusion. But I've heard people say to me so many times. You know, mm. there's all these really great bands with great ideas yet they almost seem afraid you know to voice to project the ideas really strong ideas you know that they're yeah doing absolutely and i think um i think that's i, I think that's a solid point you know yeah. and i think a lot of people hear that um i think for a lot of people too and i think i know for you growing up you grew up in the uk hardcore scene yeah you know the crust scene you know, yeah. And that's something I want to delve into as well at some point in our discussion. Yeah. But I think overall, I think for a lot of people involved, especially going to a punk show, hardcore show, or a Napalm Death show, I think it gives a sense of belonging. Yeah. You know, because people, it, that's such an important element to have, especially in this fucking world we're in. Yeah. Because there's so much um, division um, and, and people being rejected for being who they want to be or how they want to sure. think or whatever. And it, Sure. It's bad. But anyway, yeah. So I, I just kind of wanted to add to your point that, yeah, you know, that, that makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I always, one thing, and this is ever, ever since I was a little kid, you know, I, I, I had, I was lucky being from Birmingham, which is very um, culturally mixed in terms of like the things that people reach for, you know, so yes, punk. A lot of a lot of my friends are rockabillies, or psychabillies, you know, and a lot a lot of friends I had with muds as well. Yeah. So, as as somebody who is into like hard music, you're always supposed to be against certain people, <laughs> just because you should be. Right. And also, this label on on. and I was I was never interested in that dynamic sure. at all. I have no interest in like singling somebody else walking down the street at that point and like attacking them you know for, i mean what's, yeah. what's the point I, I always find that stuff really fucking pointless you know it is pointless man it's, yeah. it's kind of it's childish you know and it's yeah. kind of juvenile and it's and again especially well, as andy to be honest i don't think you can even call him that i think i think you're doing children a disservice to <laughs> God, okay you know? all right it's to all children funny. out there i'm so sorry it, no no not at all but i think it's just mindless which yeah. is beyond childish you know it, it just it's yeah amazing. and i mean even music aside man you know like the current state of the world politically and and and, and culturally it's it's divided and you know even like again music aside it's like people are out targeting other people because yeah they're just filled with this fucking rage which doesn't make any sense yeah you know it's I like think, the world you know, isn't such confusion right now anyway go ahead i'm sorry yeah definitely andy sorry sorry to interrupt um, you're not no this I'll is for you man this is not me no, for me, it's quite, in some ways, it's quite a simple bedrock to this, you know, in that I think, um, and this is not a moral point, so I don't, I don't believe in morality. I think it's a real, it's actually a real, um, um, it's a real awkward term, you know, uh, morality and morals and stuff like that. But right. I do think that humanity is essential. Yeah. And I think a lot of this can really be put that simply that people have lost their sense of humanity you know what it is to actually be a human being you know yeah. i think that's that can explain a lot of things in 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 how people are prepared to treat each other you know either in the pursuit of power yeah or just yeah. to gain a foothold you know in a particular mm -hmm. situation i think it's i think it's really depressing actually you know is and this isn't a recent thing this is going back well, yeah, you know, yeah, we're regressing, you know, it's, it's this, um, yeah. we're living in an era where, yeah, it's like, you know, what, what is, what is lacking here? Like this, this, this feeling of being, feeling powerless and people yeah. doing anything to feel some sort of control over their lives. Yeah. You know, what, what is driving them to feel this anger? And obviously, you know, you and I could probably sit down and we could talk till we're blue in the face and say, you know, we've got this disinformation campaign globally going on we've got global wars we have lack of education it goes on and on and on you know but it's like at the end of the day like where's the solution 
to yeah, yeah, bring absolutely. the humanity I, back, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I think part of the reason is, is part of part of the reason why it is still like it is as well, is it's still generally accepted mm. that some people in the world matter less than others. You know, yeah. it really does. I mean, for sure. 100 percent you know all this stuff that's going on in ukraine right now yeah i was going to bring that up it's people killing other people en masse and it's not acceptable you know to, to me as a human being that being said you know and not to underplay it but you know in the middle east in yemen there are the same situations going on there every day every and day you and never Syria. barely yeah. hear anything about that man you yeah. know what i mean yeah and, and also go ahead no yeah. no i was i was gonna also, I was sorry gonna... also to add to that yes please to britain specifically um britain is training and selling arms to saudi arabia these the very arms that are killing people in yemen you know yeah. Yeah. and that's why to make a general point it's and it's and i know a lot of people would agree with me i'm probably saying this to people that are already thinking but it's worth it's always worth stating you know yeah. if you want people to stop killing each other in this way you end the arms industry you Absolutely. do not manufacture arms anymore you know you have a well however you have to do it you have a worldwide uh, agreement to stop producing arms you know of any description from handguns to the biggest thing you know <laughs> get and that man that right there is such a huge fucking talking point because you're right you take the guns away you solve a lot of fucking problems and especially here in the yeah. states man you know i don't know if you're familiar with what happened you know here with you know with george floyd and the murder and everything that yeah, happened. yeah absolutely. You know, that was yeah, yeah, cool. that was right up the street from me all right you yeah, know so yeah, the city yeah. was on fire and you know it was past due it's like you know you have these cops going out killing you know young black kids all yeah. the time you yeah. know and it's just it's just it's it's chaos you know there's too yeah. much violence there's too much guns there's too many people being trigger happy you know yeah. from all ends of the spectrum and it's um yeah. it's a fucking sad reality but you're right man the, the arms industry it's like it's it's doing this yeah yeah and and it's covered up over it because bia um the big british company mm. obviously contribute a lot to the economy because you know war is big business as as we know you know yeah, and yeah. it's a so, catchphrase so yep. therefore yeah the government kind of very very tactically pushes that question to one side you know yeah. they're like oh yeah but we can't intervene with arms sales because you know saudi arabia you know gives us so much money it's like well have a think about what you're saying right there and what matters most you know yeah Yet these are the same people that bleat about human rights when it suits them you know what i mean it's yeah, not it's universal for them yeah absolutely it's not universal to them it's selective and that's it, that it, bothers yeah. that bothers me a lot you know well yeah yeah and you're right about that it's um it's it, it's when it when it goes against their 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 better self you know when it goes yeah. against their agenda then that's yeah. when they're gonna gonna um going to scream from the rooftops you know but yeah. you know if the almighty dollar is going to be rolling in then you know let's uh yeah let's, the less let's said a, the better you know yeah. yeah 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 we just had a um kind of speaking about you know the the powers that be and, and whatever works for their agenda um we had a we have a i don't know if you've been no, no governor DeSantis here in florida down in florida yeah i know that guy yeah yeah he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. a piece of garbage guy, yeah <laughs> They, they just passed that bill today which is like don't don't say gay or don't say the yeah. gay word or something like yeah. that it's, it's like crazy the, paranoid bullshit and i don't know, what, <laughs> yeah, I don't know I who that's meant to serve because i think even conservative people think that's fucking nonsense well know? yeah the but, funny thing is that some of those conservatives are probably gay themselves yeah yeah and, well know, yeah exactly they're they're, they're yeah. afraid of themselves you know because yeah. you know who you know hell hath no fury if you know yeah exposed. but you know and but besides the point you know it's it's uh, the world's a fucked up place right now you know yeah and um i i know that you uh i just saw you guys play here in minneapolis with um who was that i'm Gwar. sorry Gwar. Gwar. yeah that yeah, was an awesome yeah, yeah. show man yeah um but you guys are coming back in May, May, May. Yeah, May. See, we were, yeah, we were. It was it was weird because we actually had another tour lined up, um, which was actually we were going to we were planning to go out on the road with MDC. You know, did you say uh, MDC? 
Uh, MDC, yeah, yeah. No yeah. shit, yeah. Yeah, it was going to be MDC. We're going to be on it. Um, Fuck. Locust. Um, a couple yeah. of so it was good. Yeah, we, 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 I was like really excited about it, and then it just kind of fell apart, and I'm not actually sure why. Yeah. So I just now we up. ended up on this other two, which is the other end of the spectrum completely, you know. And actually, we don't really, we don't really do that kind of two of these days, you know. But yeah. But, yeah. but it's badass man i was talking with uh, stick yeah i was talking with stick a few weeks back and um i i did a i don't know we were going back and forth i did i i'm an animator so i did like a 3d animation for his the the doom the little doom uh, crusty life oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but anyway we were going back and forth and i think i know didn't doom had a, a tour um set with you guys yeah yeah I, that was canceled. another thing i was i was such a fucking choker because obviously Europe being all separate states, you know, within the European Union, um, yeah. that they had all their different, each country had its different rules, you know, entry rules and mm. gig, you know, club rules. And it, logistically, at that point in February, uh, only last month, actually, yeah, of course, um, it just became impossible. You sure. know, we didn't know which gigs were going to stay, which gigs were going to go. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you're putting a three or four band thing out on the road we it would have been disastrous you know for us it would have been really bad you know and we just couldn't take the risk at that point i was i was really disappointed you know that yeah. we couldn't do it because stick well doom i, I love that band you know and i was growing yeah. up and and um sticks one of my really old friends i don't know if he came up in conversation absolutely known, yeah yeah, yeah I've known he's stick. a good dude man yeah stick, i've known stick 40 years man you know Fuck, man. So, yeah you guys were kids yeah, I love him, man. I really love him a lot. Good. You know, he's, he, he's, I don't, I didn't see him for years and years and years. Mm. But, you know, that guy, I'm going to get a bit mushy now, but that guy, go for it. He fucking, I was a little kid, man, a really little kid going to the pubs and for the first time, you know, like yeah. hanging around with people. And he kind of put his arm around my shoulder and he, he like kind of helped me along you know and i'll never forget it you know it's meant, awesome, meant a yeah. lot to me, you know? yeah kind of kind of took you under his wing yeah yeah it did definitely amongst other people yeah yeah but you're still in you're still in pretty tight contact with him aren't you i mean you yeah, have to yeah, be, yeah, yeah 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 we speak he's painting his boat at the moment actually he's <laughs> yeah he told me that so, yeah I yeah, forgot yeah. He's on a houseboat. <laughs> that's awesome yeah <laughs> but we're gonna do it next year i think all is not lost because all they've done is basically put it off a year to next yeah. year and, and do as far as i know Duma confirmed on that as well you know that was so. all a um that was a, a european tour wasn't yeah. it was that all european, europe yeah. all right all right yeah or maybe european. we can sneak over and jump on one of the yeah shows. i'd love it it'd be great you know yeah, the more the merrier you know conversing is, is is a great thing you know uh, I, that's why i love you know i like when we did the album i did I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I did like 150 interviews or something like that. Okay, it was spread over a few weeks, but yeah, it know, wasn't I, one I was day. Just going course, for it, you know, because yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll just whoever it is doesn't matter who it is, you know. I'm always down for talking, you know. Just yeah, I appreciate you doing it though, man. Um, yeah, of course, man. Again, course. you know, it's not, it's not, not like I'm some big wacky no, publication or anything, but yeah, I don't care about that. I'll talk to I'll talk to you know whoever wants to talk. I'll talk. Yeah, yeah. Never yeah the last one i did i talked to chaos from chaos uk and steve allen uh, from disorder yeah um i play in a band with those guys yeah you so, said yeah 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 so it's like yeah. kind of talking to the elders you know yeah <laughs> you last know, like, time we played with disorder in norway uh because of course some of them were living there i'm not sure about now but yeah no steve's um, not there he's in luxembourg now yeah yeah but um yeah we we played it was like a small festival and it was in norway i'd like to say it was like 2000 or something like that. really right about then yeah 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 taff is still going with disorder taff was still going yeah 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 <laughs> yeah that dude's uh that dude's punk to the bone man yeah oh, yeah <laughs> yeah um <clears throat> well yeah i mean i don't know it's like i was i was rocking out some of the stuff some of the new songs that you guys have been doing with the new mini album which um, yeah. I kind of had a weird question for you. So yeah, uh, stop me if you've heard this before, but no. I would really like to know where you come up with the title of your albums because they kind of, you kind of read them and you kind of stop and it's thought provoking. So I'd yeah. really, I'd really be curious to know like 
where do you come up with this stuff? <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Well, I appreciate that. Anyway, that's very yeah, kind yeah. of you. But I mean, it's like, you know what? I always, I've always been um, into literature, you know, yes. so but very often, very often, I mean, wide literature, you know, really wide spectrum. I, I've always loved the use of language. You know, mm. I think it's a, it's a beautiful thing, actually, you know. And um, yes, language is used to divide in many ways sometimes, but it can yeah. also be really constructive, you know. So, yeah. so I use a lot of literary kind of stuff. I know that might sound a bit pretentious to some people, but, you know, the one thing for me personally, Andy, and this is, this is just me, you know, mm. I, um, I don't like using generic terminology if I can avoid it, you know. So, and that, that also comes with song titles and lyrics and album titles. I always try and look at something a bit literary yeah. and see if I can do something with it. I mean, uh, like Time Waits for No Slave, that album, that was um, from like uh, Time and Tide Waits for No Man, right. which was, um, I forget the, 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 the who came up with it. But yeah, so I, I use all these old literary phrases and I kind of jumble them up and, um, you know, use metaphor and all the rest of it. I think it's like kind of creative writing, you know, and I like doing that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of putting it, because I can kind of, you know, yeah. like, for instance, um, you know, uh, uh, resentment is always seismic. Yeah. Like, you look at the album and you're like, okay, what do you mean? And I don't mean that from yeah, an sure. ignorant stance. I don't know, mean that, like, no, 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 but I, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. it makes you think, like, oh, okay, this is, yeah. this paints a broader picture, you know? So I've yeah. always been curious kind of how you, um, how you uh, come up with that stuff. And I know you're a reader. Which is good. So it, it sounds sense. weird, doesn't it? Like Bill Hicks said, you know, you're a reader, you know. It's like, yeah, yeah I am. actually. Funny hey. you should mention it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that dude was a genius, man. Yeah, right? yeah, it's yeah. funny. Yeah, yeah like but this I'm, one, no, I was, you know. Well, no, go ahead. I, I, maybe I should, as you've referenced that, Andy, I should explain it. So, so what I wanted to kind of encapsulate was to follow on from Throws of Joy, was. Yeah. Um, you know, think of resentment as a concept. When you really think about it, it's kind of one of the ultimate things you can do. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to say, if you resent people, if you hate people, and you don't understand why you do that, which, let's be honest, a lot of times people really don't. You know, they don't yeah. understand why they've got those feelings. So it's seismic. Because we've seen throughout history that resentment, once it starts... It builds and it builds and it builds. It starts with um, verbal stuff, then it um, then it goes to sort of public uh, public humiliation, and then eventually leads to violence. And in the end, extreme violence, genocide. You know, which is one form of yeah. violence, and other things. You know, gen general general extreme persecution. Mm. So, throws of joy was very much about like singling groups of people out and um, and th the way things can snowball. So I just wanted the mini album to be a follow on, you know, yeah. I guess conceptually from that, you know. Yeah, The Rose was interesting because um, it's a fantastic album. It's very diverse, you know, it's got a, it's got a diverse range, which I think is another plus with Napalm Death because you're not, like you mentioned before, you're not pigeonholing. You're kind of bringing a wide swath of people together. When I go to an Apalm Death show, I'm not just, you know, s simply seeing a bunch of metalheads. Like I'm seeing a group of diverse people that are coming to see the yeah. shows, you know, everybody from yeah. all walks of life. Yeah, sure. You know? And that means a lot, you know? Yeah. So it's like when I saw the cover of Throws, you know, and you've got the dove and you've got the circle and I yeah. kind of took a little bit, you know, I mean, I, I, you know, I do album art and shit like that. And so I'm like, yeah. I try to like look at detail and stuff. And it's like, it's right in front of you, but you don't see it unless you really focus, but there's a circle E right in the middle. Yeah, and like, I know that fucking universal yeah, symbol. Yeah. And that is yeah, a very yeah, powerful yeah. symbol, but yeah, it totally makes sense. So yeah. um, I knew there was kind of a message behind that, you know, sure. that's how you do that. So, yeah. so thanks for explaining that. That's cool. Yeah, no, no worries, man. It's, it's basically, it's actually, um, when you look at it, after a while, um, you, you'll, I think probably a lot of people come up with, it's literally, I mean, uh, uh, it's not the first time it's been used, but of course, a white dove is traditionally the symbol of peace, you know, so yeah. it's, it's almost the strangulation of peace. You know, absolutely. That's, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah, it's know? a symbolism. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, man. Um, 
Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, and thanks for kind of going into that. Um, yeah, man. I was, uh, and you kind of going back to talking about the kind of diversity of napalm sound. And when I say diversity, it's it's like, I'm not saying you guys are like, hey, these guys are doing smooth jazz while they do extreme. Nah, yeah. but, it, but it's like you, you kind of do, you like put your foot in obviously extreme metal. You have your foot in some punk. You have some, you know, hardcore and also kind of like, like this. All right, I pulled this out just because I was jamming it earlier. This record, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This fucking record, man, is mighty oh, because thanks, it man. has it has that killing joke feel, and I'm not trying yeah. to sound cliche about that, but no. man, it's super fucking powerful. You yeah, know? I mean, and we I know love you weren't all that. going for it, but I know you, you know, yeah, you have no, we love all that kind of. I know it's again, it sounds like pigeon a bit of it, but all that post punk, post rock stuff for us, that period, you know, sort of killing joke, joy oh, division. Uh, New Order, Bauhaus, you know, Absolutely. et cetera, et cetera. That's, <clears throat> for me, that's a really big thing, you know. To, and to be able to, it, it actually, that stuff really lends itself to extreme bands because the key is so kind of minor, you know. Mm -hmm. it's It really sits in there pretty well, you know. Yeah. So, so we do all that stuff, and it's great. When you pull it off and you kind of know just for yourself that you've hit the sweet spot, you know, it's really satisfying. But... You know, of course, I will also say that I'll, I'll never forget where the band comes from mm -hmm. because I don't ever want to let go of that stuff. That's such a big part of my life it's and certainly roots. Shane's life, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't ever want to leave that stuff behind, you know, because I, I grew up in that scene. Yeah. And until it kind of imploded, which it kind of did, yeah, I have to be honest. Sure. Um um, and mm -hmm. not not for entirely good reasons, but that that's another old story. But right. um, un until it until it went away, it meant it to me. It was a hotbed of fucking fantastic music. Mm. You know, I mean, I could not reel off a list of bands. You know, but it it was I know just such great times. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. So. yeah, that's a it's a very interesting thing because yeah, I mean that's that's kind of your roots. <clears throat> And I think yeah. that's where a lot of this comes from. You know, it's a lot of that angst. It's 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 like you said, like when Stick took you under his wing, it was kind of the start of it. You know, like that kind of blossom into where things are. Right yeah. Now. And it's like, yeah. you know, when you go when you go from punk and you go from hardcore, uh, you know what? Just generally speaking, the underground. You know, and and you mm. you you come to where you are with Napalm Death. Like it shows uh, where your roots are, and it's still there. It's very present. You know, and I I say that personally just because I come to your shows. You know, because I know what you're about and I can tell that those roots are still there. I mean, yeah, yeah, you know, they always will be. I mean, they're never they're never going to they're, they're never going to leave as, as yeah. long as and I, I don't mean this in an arrogant way. I mean, as long as I'm anything to do with it, you know, it's, it's, it will always be. And, and for Shane, too, you yeah. know, Shane grew up in that scene as well. And, um, you know, I have great memories and 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 I, you know, that. It, it, it's almost heartwarming, you know, to when you hear him, when he plays me, if he's got new songs and new riffs and he plays me, I'll just go, shit, man, that's, that's like 1987. Like, that's <laughs> fucking great, you know? Yeah. You know? Let's have some more of that, you know? So, yeah, I, I actually kind of yeah. wanted to talk to you about that and, and briefly, but yes, I mean, in regards to the riffage, I wanted to talk um, the last album, um, the mini album that just came out. So I was, I've been rocking it and it's like, again it kind of goes back to some of those sounds like I, i'm kind of picking up like like during that era of like late 80s early 90s when when some of the crusties or some of the punks were starting to get a little bit more industrial so like you know you had yeah. got flesh on the scene yeah. you know i think mid was doing um spine wrench yeah you know and i think al you know like from nausea was doing yeah. like sin and they did yeah, yeah, also yeah, yeah. like so i kind of picked up some of that element on this album you know it's just like this really kind of powerful like not fully industrial, but it has that punch to it, you know. Sure. Like, well, Andy, ass, I mean, man. a band that were, <clears throat> a, a band that sort of we're always rattling on about basically was was Swans. You know, I yeah, mean, yeah. they were they were and are like huge for us. You know, they totally. they didn't. I mean, industrial is always a bit of a weird term because it it's so it's applied to so many things you know very often yeah. you can go well what is it and what what you know what is it exactly right. but but swans are kind of industrial if you like to me but without the 
<clears throat> without necessarily the um, um, the kind of um, more manufactured sounds. You right. know, they Mechanical, they they used yeah. the, They were still really mm -hmm. analog swans. Always, always were right. at that point as well. You know, apart from the mad like keyboard sounds. And stuff. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know you're a fan, so that's... Oh, huge. I mean, that that tells a lot about your character. <laughs> yeah, awesome. yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Obsessive, but... Uh, looking cranky, you know? Dude, yeah. <laughs> and I don't mean to, like, jump all over the place here, but I got to ask you this question before I forget, because I'm, you know, old age and memory and shit, but... Um, you know, you guys, you guys do badass covers. Like, you just did some Bad Brain stuff. I know you've done, like, any Simics covers. You obviously do fucking dead kennedy's covers and stuff but man yeah. like one of the best covers you guys do and i'm still trying to figure out how the fuck you guys did it but the cardiacs man oh yeah that to yeah, go yeah, off yeah. on things man that yeah like, yeah that yeah, version yeah, yeah. is so brutal yeah like did, was that like your decision did shane come shane. To i mean shane sh sh the car cardiacs was um it's fair to say he's in his top three favorite bands of all time you know They're amazing and well, the guy that we used to be connected with them because the guy that managed the cardiacs also managed us, you know, back in oh, the day. No shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That which yeah. is why I don't know if you've seen it, Andy, but we did a a live video in Salisbury in ninety one, and the, the cardiacs did the same gig. It was us and them together, I seen that. and I uh, seen we just that. filmed it back to back because yeah. it was cheaper to hire some cameras, you know, for the two yeah. bands. So we did it together, you know. No, I haven't even heard of that. So um, yeah. that'll be my next. Uh, that'll be, that's on my list to check that out. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I have a lot of respect. The, the live Cardiacs. corruption thing. That's what it is. If you, what was if, it? I'm sorry. You might, you might know it by that name. It's called live corruption. Oh yeah. So it was, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. And the Cardiacs also did one. It's the same venue. If you if you find their video, it's exactly. Okay. It's in an old kind of art center. It's Salisbury Art Center. It's like a. Looks like a church inside. It's sure. all the same shit when you yeah. watch the videos. Fluorescent like lighting and whatever. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Totally. No, that's cool, man. I got a lot of respect for um, for the cardiacs and like it was okay. sad when Tim passed away. You know, like yeah, he passed. Fuck yeah. of all years, twenty twenty. What's that? Shane used to go and visit him all the time. Really? Used to go and visit him a lot. Yeah. So he saw him. I believe he saw him not long before he died. You know. So. I used to have some, when I was younger, I used to have some Napalm Death stuff on my walls, posters and shit. And I think I had a picture from some magazine. I think Shane was wearing a Cardiac shirt. Yeah. And I think that's how I got turned on or I first found out about him. So it was like, oh, yeah, this has to be a fun yeah, band. Who of, is this? You know? Ton of stuff. Yeah, he's got a ton of this stuff. You know? Yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> the one thing I want to ask you about, and this is a little, little off topic here, but behind you on your wall that illustration yeah. i knew you've mentioned that before but is that like a street fighter illustration yeah, yeah. what it is That's... man we've got a we've got a um a fantastic art gallery all independent artists you know yeah and somebody did oh man why are you recording it i'll see if i can get it but probably not you know uh, um i don't know if I can... yeah i can kind of get it there but yeah it's it's like the whole scene oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like somebody mucked up like a, like a fight scene um, yeah. from a street fighter. And yeah, you'd have to see it really because the effect, it's got like a shimmering effect on it. Yeah. And it looks, I was, see, I was looking, I've got like a, on the other wall, I've got like a, I've got the hand of Trump, basically. If I can what is it? Small oh, hand pressing the button. Man. You know? Yeah, that's so. not a telling picture yeah no so i was trying to get that kind of stuff for the wall but i saw this street fighter picture yeah and I was like it just like the colors just fucking did something yeah. in the synapses you know and i was just like oh that i've got to get that you know yeah and i'm a, i'm assuming you're 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 probably not a gamer are you a gamer oh or i am much? actually are yeah, you really? man, I, I, it's it's yeah it's one of my you know what here's the thing since i was a little kid yeah I had the, the Intellivision, which was oh, yeah. the one with the telephone cable cord. Yeah, I remember, man. And, uh, like, um, yeah, the... Doot, doot, doot. It, it, well, no, actually, it had, like, a little pressing pad. That, yeah, that was, and it rotated like, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> and I was, what was I then? Five, six years old, probably. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, 
I've been obsessed with video games. Oh, it, I didn't know it, that. It's not just not just for playing like the art of it. I yeah. just I just I just love it. You know, I can't can't explain it beyond that really. You know, it's yeah. just it's one of them, you know. Yeah, man. No, um, and that's cool, man. Um, game gaming's interesting for me. I mean, I work in 3D. I work as like a uh, a 3D animator and art director, or whatever. Oh, so yeah. it's like I understand the gaming industry, but it's like yeah. I, yeah, I don't know if I'd consider myself a gamer, but I do. I do play video games, but you know, when I, when time permits. But yeah, yeah, sure. I love that another industry that can be really super shitty, though. What's that? Another industry. It's another industry that can can be super shitty, man. Dude, you know, that shit needs. Of, yeah, some of that needs treatment to be of employees. You know, um, sexual harassment has it's come brutal up quite a lot in the games. In, yeah, that shit that's going on with Blizzard and all that stuff, man. I mean, yeah, I've got yeah, friends yeah. That work, it's bad, man. Oh, yeah, yeah uh -huh. it, it sucks, man. You hear stories, you know, and it's all fucking true. And it's just like, you can't yeah. escape it, you know. Thankfully, I work no, from no. home. I don't have to deal with any of those fucking lug nuts. You know? <laughs> do you work in games? Do you actually work in games? Do you, or do you do any animation for games? No, so, uh, no, I don't. Um, I I work in, I, I as personally in my own personal projects, because I do short films. I work in short films too, but it's like personal projects. So I use game game engines to develop my short films oh yeah, yeah, so yeah what yeah. they you know like unreal engine and stuff like that but yeah yeah yeah, of course. yeah, yeah. so but no yeah. for my actual job i i do animation for science and medical oh, um cool. yeah yeah so you know the medical Excellent. field yeah oh, you know wow. kind of eye candy for you know molecular do working like biology a yeah i'm into yeah. Stuff. i'm into the sciences you know myself so it's great man and it's yeah. fucking frustrating in this day and age when a lot of people don't fucking believe in it yeah oh man you want to just start smacking people especially with covid and vaccines and all the rubbish going around it's yeah 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 oh i know what it's like in the states you know i um yeah you know i've been in, i've been places when there's been you know um uh in, in area in places where um like science teachers have been harassed by you know, real yeah. zealot parents, you know, and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, Threat fucking, threatened even, you know. Yeah, fucking death threats on teachers, death, fucking death yeah. threats on nurses. Yeah, like yeah. People yeah, that yeah. are trying to, like, help society move yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, where is this panic? Well, I can probably answer that, but it's like the panic and the fear and the paranoia yeah. and the guns and... Yeah. Fuck, man. Everything yeah, we talked about. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a grim cocktail my friend definitely yeah. absolutely absolutely well man um again thank you i don't want to hold you it. up too much you know but um i know you're going to be here in minneapolis i believe early may yeah man so i've got my tickets yeah man honestly come 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 around you know let me know when you're there and um and yeah i mean get together man you know i won't be the annoying fanboy or anything but I, I you know if you've got man. a spare um like a spare five like minutes people, yeah, of course, man. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Maybe yeah, I'll yeah, um yeah. I'll drop you an email or something in uh yeah, time let's do it, man. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Barney, you're uh you're a good dude, man. Thanks again for doing this. Hey yeah, man, anytime, anytime you want to chat, mate, you know where I am, you know. That sounds good, man. All right. Well, you have yourself Sweet. a good night and I'll definitely yeah. be in touch. All right, Andy. All right. Nice one, man. Yeah, you take Cheers. care. Take All right, talk soon, man. man. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.